but been the usual brass odds and ends, a key, house key type, super old one now, very green, very thin. No coins, a lot of porcelains, shards, ceramic shards, glass shards, I'm gonna say, shards there, shards, more shards, there's some uh, red and white. Anyway, I happen to uh, stumble upon this up here in the bag. A nice little black glass bottle right there, horizontal, which is a good sign because it might actually be whole. I can't believe this thing is whole. Check that out. Look at all the bubbles in this thing. I think that this is very old. It's no Pontail scar, so you're talking like not any older than Civil War. Now the whiskey and this guy right here were right pretty much on top of each other. Kept them horizontal. Survived all these years. But this is also super crude. Well, I've been working this uh, dump vein at that uh, nice amber term old whiskey in the 1890s. Or 1900s condiment bottle came out of. And the right age got a little uh, ceramic foot there, probably off a figurine. China. I like that. That's a little end of a skeleton key right there. It's definitely the right age, but it's kind of been tough because it's kind of a mess and it's tight. You can kind of see a little bit of iron at the bottom. All right, at the top, and if you look right in the middle, you got your clamshells, your ceramic shards, your bone pieces. So there's a little vein pocket of dump material in here. Kind of follows this way goes over to there so I'm kind of digging it out very slow very tight now that big brass thing came out no idea what it is this little bottle came out hand lift the cool thing about it check out the bottom now uh, a little like horseshoe or a U on the bottom of it that's kind of cool uh, skeleton key chunks blue and white china mason jar liner mason jar tops I have no idea what this is. I think this all like hooked together. Some kind of pocket watch maybe? That looks like a pocket watch bezel. I like that flowery part there, that's cool. So I think I'm all in the right pocket now. Still chipping away that salt glaze piece right there is a uh, heartbreaker. Fortunately, the uh, panel front I hope is whole is, is whole. Uh, it's got a crack. Night Extract Philadelphia. But it's cracked. But I pulled another one of these guys out. These guys are coming out. It's my second little teeny little guy. Got that guy. Got this thing. A brass thing. I don't know if it's a reins guy or some eye hook or something. Going. It's uh, slow and difficult chipping away. Well, I've been working this creek for quite a while, way up from where the uh, all those bottles came out, that little pocket I was excavating, and it's been a lot of copper stuff. Most of it's just been junk, but we're way the heck up there. Bugs are getting bad, losing daylight. It's probably going to rain soon, but check out that religious tablet right there in copper, and that copper clock face. So cool. And... We just eyeballed a spoon right there. See it? Uh, let's see what you are. Oh, it's got a heart on the top of it. I like it.